Hello and welcome to my house. My name is Miss Jenna and it is another Demonstration Monday. Today I'm going to show and share fun different ways you can paint at your house without paint brushes. The first segment I'm going to show you stuff I have on my table that's from around my house and then my child is going to show you some ideas. And then we're going to explore some fun ways to paint with objects we can find out in nature. All right, so the first thing we wanna make sure we do is we have a nice working space. On my table, I like to put down wax paper. If you don't have wax paper, newspaper works or tablecloth, or even just painting outside, um, it's fine, easy to clean up that way. I have a cup of water. And I have a rag. All right, so some fun things I have found around my house and that I brought home from the library include some straws, popsicle sticks, pipe cleaners, coffee filters. Make sure to ask your parents first. <laughs> Aluminum foil paper and then I always have some extra cups on hand as well in case I want to mix some paint. You can also mix paint on a leftover um, like food storage container. There's always that container or that lid that doesn't match up with anything else. I also have some duct tape and some ribbon. Paint of course. I'm also going to share with you some um, recipes so you can make paints at home in case you run out of paint or you don't have any paint. I found some buttons. I thought those would be fun. I've got some seashells. I thought those would be really fun stamping and scraping and seeing what that would look like. And then I also have a ball of hemp that I used to make friendship bracelets out of and it got all jumbled up. So I cut that up and just put it on a clothespin. All right, so let's get started. The first thing I wanna try out is some aluminum foil. I've got some used aluminum foil here. Oh, I have a couple of different ideas that I can use aluminum foil for. I could paint right on the aluminum foil. That would be a fun different texture and design. Or I could crumple it up my cat is gonna come say hi potentially. She's gonna jump up, I just know it. She's gonna spill my water. <laughs> Good thing my kid is around. All right, so I've got some yellow paper here. There we go. There she is! Say hi to the sandwich! This is sandwich. We do not paint with cats. <laughs> I've got some yellow paper. I'm gonna paint with some white, I think. So I've got a pretty large paintbrush here, so I'm gonna put my white paint on here, and I'm always gonna make sure the cat doesn't jump up onto my paint. All right, I've got my paint. I have my new paintbrush ball. I'm just gonna roll it in my paint. And then, let's see, I'm gonna scrape it. I'm also going to dab it, see what kind of fun designs that comes up with. Oh, it kind of looks like some clouds. Look at that. Looks like some clouds. I might let this dry and then draw on it later. Maybe I'll draw some trees and some birds on it with some markers or some crayons. That'll look 3D and stuff. Hand that to Magnolia. All right. I'm going to stick this right in here. This will be my used item. Let's see. I'm going to try out my little mumble jumbled <laughs> paintbrush here. Let's see. I'm going to use blue this time. Oh, maybe not. I may need to make some homemade paint. I'm going to do some red. I'm going to mix the red and the white together. What color does red and white make, do you think? Might make some 
pink. Yeah, I'm actually just going to use my pipe cleaner. I'm going to mix that up. Look how cool that looks. I love mixing paint together when it gets all swirly like this. Oh, the red and the white are combining. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Yeah, that is a pretty color. I like that. And I kind of sometimes like to just leave it a little swirly like that. And then when I paint it onto my paper, some of the swirls and different colors show up. All right. Sorry, I'm going to set that off to the side. Let's see. What is my little paper clip hemp thing going to turn out? I'm going to grab some more yellow paper, dip that in. Dip, dip, dip. Ooh, that's going to look really fun. First, I'm going to try dabbing it. It's kind of like I'm making a stamp. Oh, it's got like kind of the same, but yet different structure to it. Need a little bit more paint. Good thing I have my last paper down. It's splattering. <laughs> but messes are good. Messes mean you're experimenting and trying. And messes can get cleaned up. That's why I have the water and the, the rag. All right, so I'm gonna swirl it around. Oh, I like this, guys. Oh, folks, this looks super cool. That is really fun. And it's gonna turn into a 3D piece of art because some of the hemp is coming out. And that's okay, we're experimenting. We don't know what it's gonna look like. Look at that. It actually does look very awesome. That looks really cool. I'm gonna hand that off to Magnolia. I'm really excited to see what the seashells turn out like. Yeah. All right. I'm going to use this brown green color. It says brown on the bottle. But when I squeeze it out, it looks a little more green. All right. I'm going to put some brown green on my thing. All right, here's my seashell. Now when you're doing this, if you've got little kids or even your big kids, talk together about the textures and the sizes and the colors and the shapes of everything. You know, I've got two seashells here. They both look very, very similar. But when you turn them over, one looks very different inside. This one's more tan. And this one's got a deeper hole or a bowl. All right, let's try this one out. I'm going to roll it. All right. That's not turning out the lines like I thought it would. Oh, there we go. Now it's got some lines. Oh, I like that. That was super fun. That would be kind of a fun thing to add texture to a painting. It's kind of looking almost like some hair. All right, kind of blot it out a little bit towards the end. It looks like fish scales or hair or something. See what I mean? It's kind of a brown green color. <laughs> that turned out really cool. I'm so glad I tried that out. I'm going to have to. Oh, yes. McNally had a good idea. I'm going to try drawing with it. I'm going to try drawing with this one. Let's see. I'm just going to do the ridges this time. Just put paint just on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> not a very pleasant sound. <laughs> All right, that's not working out very good. So let's just get the whole thing. I like I can stick my fingers right into the bowl of the seashell. It kind of gives me some support. Ooh, that was kind of cool. Bumpy. To put more paint on it very quickly. Very cool. That turned out fun. All right, I'm gonna put my painted objects in there. Oh, I just had another idea. I was thinking I would wash these off, but maybe later I'll add some googly eyes or some cotton balls or something fun to my seashells and turn them into little creatures. All right, set that over there with Magnolia. All right, I thought another fun thing to try out. Um, you can cut the straws and stamp with the straws. Another thing I also did was I used my duct tape and I folded some pipe cleaners in half and I thought I could brush that way too. So all sorts of fun ideas that we can do. We can cut the ribbon up into lots of pieces and turn it into a paintbrush that way. 
or you can have one long piece, all sorts of fun things. All right, I'm going to bring Magnolia over and they are going to show you some of their ideas. thing to do with an old toothbrush. If you can find like an old toothbrush around in your house, then you can use that. So you can get any type of paint you want and just dab it in any color paint. And then, you know, and then you can draw a line with it. Oh, that's oh, really cool. That looks cool. <laughs> <laughs> or you could draw like little dots. And you could draw a smiley face. <laughs> and, um, and it kind of looks almost like hair, and then, and then my mom's going to take that for me. Um, That's really cool. It actually looks very I like the texture. Yeah, looks, the lines almost look like hair. Um, and then you can wash that off. Yep. Okay. Right in there. And then you can find <laughs> fork and make sure you use washable paint. And ask your parent or your adult. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can just like run it through the paint just like that. Don't beat it. And then draw a line. Oh, that actually looks kind of interesting. Very it's like a fence. <laughs> yeah. And then you can draw like little tiny dots. Super tiny dots. Oh, that's cool. it around and go slowly, slowly, and then, ta-da, it's a beautiful drawing. I like the lines. Yeah. It's like lines from the times. Mm -hmm. And if you have any Q-tips around your house, um, then you can like, um, roll it in the paint and then like, and make little tiny dots. And you can make a tiny smiley face. <laughs> or you can make like a. Smiley faces are good. Yeah. Or you could make a swirly. Or. Ooh, a line. Or. Another swirly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks cute. Oh, that does look cool. This. Oh, nice! <laughs> Awesome. Q-tips are good. Very creative. Well, thank you, Magnolia, for showing us some more ideas. Mm -hmm. All right. We are going to venture outside to find some natural stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be safe, and I'm going to ask my adult first. Adult, can I go outside with you? Yes, yes you can. Yes. All right. <laughs> All right, so my mom made me this map, so I'm going to put this on, and it ties in the back. I will go get mine. All right, so I'm going to look a little different with my mask, and you might be seeing more and more people walking around outside with these on. There's nothing to be afraid of. We're wearing these masks to be safe, and I can't get this one tied. I need to go back to kindergarten and learn how to tie my stuff. There we go. So I'm going to tie that there. And then this ties back there too. So I do look different, don't I? But there's nothing to be afraid of, is there? You might have a mask at home, or maybe you've seen one of your family members go to work or go to the grocery store wearing this on their faces. All right. We'll be right back with some outdoor stuff. All right, we took our cat for a walk outside and collected some stuff. So we are going to show you some of our ideas. I put my stuff in a box. I found some fun pine cones. Oh, Magnolia found a pine cone too. I thought these would be fun to roll and see what kind of patterns they make. Let's see, I found some rocks. I found three rocks and I had an idea and what's your idea with the rocks? Um, so I did this before um 
Um, but I found a rock. It was kind of in the shape of a frog, so I added some <laughs> little eyes to it, and it's very adorable. <laughs> that is really cute. And I made some little dots on it to make it look a little bit more realistic, but and the eyes are so cute that I made a little rock. Well, you had a rock. plan with some of your other rocks that you were going to yeah. do, weren't you? What were you going to do with those? I was going to make a cat. So, um, I was going to use hot glue, but I would have to ask my adults for permission. <laughs> and um, I would have to be safe with it. I was going to make a cat. The pine cone was going to be the puffed up tail. <laughs> because the cat would be scared. And then, <laughs> then there would be that's the body and that's the head. And I don't have five hands, so I can't put it all together. <laughs> but, cool. Yeah. All right, another thing I found, we live by lots of pine trees, so I thought these would be fun, not just to turn into paint brushes, but I thought it would be fun to turn them into some 3D art projects somehow. So instead of painting with them, I could also paint on them. I got a anyone. nice little one there. Daddy one. Yeah, I also found lots of sticks. And I thought it would be fun to turn the sticks into like the paintbrush and then attach different things to the ends and experiment that way. I might try doing that outside, see what kind of fun things I can tape or tie onto the ends of my paintbrushes. See, did you find something else? Um, I also found a stick. Cool. Sticks are plenty in our yard. Yes, we have lots. I also found some tiny, tiny pine cones that haven't opened up yet. I thought those would be fun to try out different patterns, roll them on the paper. Or if you put a piece of paper in a box and then put stuff inside the box with paint and then you shake your box, that turns out really oh, cool yeah. too. I remember when I did that at camp with them. Mm -hmm. Yes, I thought those would be fun. I also found parts of a walnut shell. Mm, maybe I thought that had a, yeah, maybe, maybe an animal brought it over. And I thought that would be fun with the different texture on it. Like yeah, I also found part of a dried out bush that I thought would be a fun stamp. And then this was bits of um, a lily plant or something growing out in our yard. I thought it'd be fun to cut it up and Hair tie, them, tie them all together and then stamp that way. And then I always love these. These are really cool. Oh, that would be fun to like. So I did this in first grade um, and also in second grade. But, um, you would like put the plant on there and then you would paint over the plant and That's also what the I was paper. Too. And then you would take it off and then it would be a super neat design. Yeah, I was thinking the exact same thing. Kind of painting over it and then you see the outline of the plant. Or you could even just scrape it through. Sandwich wants to help paint too. Yay! <laughs> All right, so we found some fun different things that we, <laughs> we can do together inside and outside. <laughs> All right, so go experiment, make a mess, clean up after yourselves. Your adults will appreciate that. So experiment, try out a variety of homemade tools that you have in and around your house. All right, thanks for tuning in. Bye. Bye.